cheer it. You pay all your bills, you buy clothes and shoes. Welcome to the world, what you doing, what you supposed to do? You ever heard of the saying, more money, more problems, brother? You broke or you rich, just know that everyone got them. Just keep your faith in your father and everything will be cool. Say your prayer every day to make it through, cause I'm so heavy in the game. Flexing Twan, man. If you heard that song in the beginning, that's my homie, um, Connie Son. Go follow him on uh, Instagram, SoundCloud, man. He got this dope track called uh, "Heavy in the Game." And um, when I when I uh, when I looked at the video, honestly, um, the shit just did something to me because it made me feel like my life. He be sitting at like first he called his dude. And he basically be saying he, he think about killing himself. And dude be like, man, you tripping. I'm on my way over there. And he be like, nah, man, this ain't a good time for you to come. He like, man, I don't care. I'm on, I'm on my way. You know what I mean? You, we need to talk. And um, the whole video, he's sitting down there with the with the gun, smoking a cigarette because he like a mild a cigarette. He like way stressed on the table. He got uh, all the bills piled up, child support order, um... Uh, the, the, the income tax, you know, when they take your income tax for child support, stuff like that. And, um, I, I think I'm infatuated with the video because it's, it's just been like, it's like looking at my whole life through somebody else's eyes. And as a part of the song that he say, you know what I'm saying? They say more money, more problems. Just know you, if you rich or you poor, everybody got them. And, um. After a lot of situations in my life, I found myself, like, detaching myself from everybody because I felt like, you know what I'm saying, nobody ever understand this kind of pain I went through, you know what I'm saying, my, my homie do, my, one of my best friends, you know what I'm saying, because he started going through it before me. And um, I wanted to do this video because everybody be like, you know what I'm saying, how you still be smiling from all the, all the stuff you went through. And I feel like it was it was a super hard process. You know what I mean? It was a super hard process. Um, I, I used to look at it as it was, you know what I'm saying, truthfully me. And I think with me going through a lot of situations in life, it, it let me find out stuff about me that I needed to fix. You know what I mean? So that's what I did. I fixed a lot of stuff. But I, I think also that certain people were sent to my life to destroy a part of me I ain't need no more. You know what I'm saying? At the time, I didn't see it. I just felt like, you know what I'm saying, they took everything away from me. But I think all the stuff they took, it wasn't meant for me to have, though. Because, like, when I sit down and look at it now, if I had to get it all back, I wouldn't. You know what I mean? And even, even certain situations, I got kids in those situations, but I wouldn't take it back. I would still want everything to go how it went to get to this point because to this point um i don't think that um i would have made it through life if uh i don't think i would have been a, i don't think i would have been strong enough to make it you know what i mean like if this was like if this would have happened to me like what just happened to me if this would have happened to me like eight years ago I probably wouldn't be here, you know what I mean? Because I think, like, uh, everything was put in place. I think, I think I had weapons in life to fight the battle I was about to have to fight. Like, you know, times where I really wanted to fuck people up and hurt people, you know what I'm saying? Like, then I sit there and think about, you know, my daughter, my son, and, um, you know, we talk, me and her. And I think, like, they was my angels through it all. And I think them was my weapons in life for other people not getting hurt. And, like, even now, you know what I'm saying, I move out of love, but I still see how people move out of revenge. And um, no matter how nice I am to people, it's like it be their duty to make sure that um, they try to rile me up. But it, it don't be none of that. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just learn how to control my emotions. I learned... You know what I'm saying? You you really can't stress over stuff you can't control. Like that's like if somebody called, like, hey man, you ain't paid your Wi-Fi, so we about to cut off your internet. Cut it off, man. I got twenty thousand dollars worth of DVDs. Cut the motherfucker off. 
you 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 just got to kind of embrace stuff for what it is like i see a lot of people letting the smallest things ruin their day and um i think that i just had to go through everything in life i think i had to lose it all i think i had to put my trust in people for them to betray me for me to see how i feel or see like i guess see what i need to see but I appreciate it all, you know what I'm saying? And that's why a lot of the people who dislike me now, I appreciate them and they don't know why. Like, cause they always act like, you know what I'm saying, rude to me, try to create problems, and I'll be like, that's cool. And they be like, you know, if we doing the worst we can due to this guy, why ain't he mad, though? And I'll be like, my well, man, shit. I do, listen, it was a point of, a point in my life when um I had first went through like divorce and I got back out here. Now mind you, um, you know what I'm saying, like everything is basically going bad. I'm going from one job making this to another job making less. And um but the but the time was better for me having my kids, so I was like, well, I'll take the pay cut. But I still need to have my kids the time I have them. So it works. So I just have to make do with the back end. And um, after like three days of working a job, they actually called me and told me I was going from this to this. And I'm like, you know, that that was a, a blessing. And um, But it, it's still a back end of that because no matter how many times I got blessed, child support will hit you with, we want this now. So you went from this back to this you know what i mean so um i just stopped getting mad about it and um i just keep going but i always told my kids mother you know what i'm saying y'all know what y'all shouldn't take i don't care what they give you you know what you shouldn't take you know what i mean so now by me starting companies and doing music and helping people out in the rap game um and always getting the short end of the stick but always trying to move with a good heart it's like I'm not a people's person like I used to be because I feel like I always know what I can do for people, but it's like, you know what I'm saying, what, what y'all can do for me. And that and it don't even be like I'm looking for something, but it's like when you be, when you just live this life and uh, you start to understand more in people, you see that it got to be a tip for tat thing, no matter what it is, you know what I'm saying? Like, because when you do something for people out the goodness of your heart, you usually always get the short end of the stick. And I mean, dude, I didn't been through I didn't been through it all, man. From bad investments to bad business partners to bad relationship partners to broken marriages. And um when I all when I look at it all, they all wanted me for something. You know what I mean? It's for something. And I didn't want them for nothing but just to be be them and be good. And actually, that's why I appreciate all of them, because they was them. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people is just users. A lot of people is just, you know, people that want something from you. You know what I'm saying? So people think I'm one of the most meanest, sternest dudes ever, but not really. It's just when people cross me, man, we, we ain't got to do that dance twice. You already crossed me, so we, we done for this lifetime. And people are like, you would never get back with your ex? No. Why? Because she ain't going to have to go through what I went through to get here. So you think we supposed to break up? I supposed to stay to myself, be celibate, get my life together, and then she's supposed to go out, drink, party, fuck, suck, and then come back like, hey, I made a mistake. No, fuck you. I'm cool. I'd rather be a friend, and that's it. And um, I'll just be learning how to deal with stuff more because I, I learned that... um. Going the right route is going to be the harder way. You know, I, I could do what everybody else do and give up on the relationship, the kid, fuck child support, go in the streets. But then, you know, I'm taking a higher risk of, um, you know, going to the joint and shit like that. So I go the right way. But the right way is the hardest way because now you've got a paper trail to where they can trace you. So you, I pay for kids that I never stopped doing for. And, um... It'd be like, like just this year, I got two adjustments. So I was paying a certain amount for my daughter, and then I got a divorce, and then they cut my child support, and then raised the $84. They said, this is what you should be paying. I'm like, what charge y'all go off of? You know what I mean? Well, going off of what you make. And i like, so if I make, let's say I make $100. 
So y'all basically want 85 for two kids and y'all give me the, the rest. How, well, how I'm supposed to survive? Well, you know, you got to gotta do what you got to do. So down there, they basically tell you sell drugs, do whatever the fuck you got to do. And it's, it's bad for the dudes. And um, I don't find myself talking to a lot of people about it because I know a lot of people don't understand it. All they just say is, man up. But then these be the people steady having steady having kids by niggas who never had to be a man. By niggas who get to live with live from chick to chick couch. These are the people that's getting chauffeured around by chicks and shit like that. And um I don't know, the shit just unattractive, man. It's like I don't be taking chicks serious no more. Cause it's like, you know what I mean? Like we all supposed to be the ones we call our queens, but shit, y'all really the ones destroying this whole thing. Y'all destroying us. Because in the same sense, um, when you look at the news, there's a lot of people that's killing people behind that child support. And I'm talking about fathers and mothers. And um, you see so many guys that they don't get no help, no assistance, nothing. It's like, if you look at my life, I go to, I go to one job, go to work. But then my check is getting broke up for two other households. But they give to this one and to this one. And they don't worry about this one. So I'm at the point where why would I, you know what I'm saying, stress myself out about making this money for other people's household. I know I take care of my kids. I know anything they ask for, I get. I know if the mothers call me and say this is what they need, I will get it. So I'll be like, fuck the system. I'll be like, look, man, if y'all don't switch up that child support, nigga, I'm quitting. Ain't nobody going to get no money. I can get it in the streets. Can y'all? So when you starting to take $500 from these households, then certain people got to rethink. You know what I'm saying? Is it worth losing everything? But don't nobody want to play ball because if you pay for a child all year round, why don't you get to claim them on income tax? No. If it's income tax time, they want to, okay, well, we're going to split it down the middle. And I ain't got no problem with that, but... Nigga, if I'm paying room and board for this child, shouldn't I be able to claim them? So it's just it's just bad when it comes to that child support, man. And um, I, I, I warn a lot of women because uh, they be thinking it's cool. But in the street sense, if a nigga play you over $100, you be ready to bust his head. So what do you think a person will do to you when you take it down there his whole check? It's like you forcing him to be shysty again. Because, I mean, the shit they done to me, man, I was really, I was really about to be on some shysty shit. Like, and I mean, really, really. And it took everything in me to love for my kids to chill out. Because I was about to be, I was about to fuck some people up, man. And um, that's why it, it really make me salty when I hear people say, like, uh, when I hear people say, like, uh, you know what I'm saying? I understand. No, you don't understand how hard it is. You make this amount of hour. You got three different, four different baby fathers kicking you this much. Nigga, you a hood hood millionaire, thousandaire. You know what I mean? You don't know how it is. You will know how it is when a nigga snap and then he at your neck. Now, when it go from being nice to street shit, it get bad. So, I just pray. And every day, man, when I see my kids... I just be praying that they don't tell me something crazy that's going to make me flip out and fuck up the other side um, of the parenting. And, I mean, you know. But after all of it, um, I think um, I take the respect part, man. Because I think that my kids going to see um, what I did for them. And I think they going to start to look at the other parent. Like, you know what I'm saying? If... He was trying, if he was doing this, going above and beyond, and all you did was take, take from him, I think that's going to fall on them, and that's going to be something I can't really, you know what I'm saying, justify. Like, you know, I can't take up for it. You know what I'm saying? I would never speak bad about um, my children's mother to them, but I think they're going to get older and see, you know what I'm saying? And that's really on them, you know what I'm saying? So, like I say, man, I done been through it all. The betrayal part, bad business partner, bad marriages, and I still smile, man, because it's like, 